Hi guys and welcome to the floor of my bedroom. Yes, I'm sat on the floor. I literally could not be bothered to set up my camera so that it was in front of my bookshelves and I was like, eh, the floor will do. So I'm on the floor. I thought I would try and do the age old reading vlog this week. Um, it's currently Monday the... what day is it? 16th of April and I thought I would give this whole reading vlog type thing a bash. Um, my reading has been really, really shitty recently um, in the sense that I have basically gotten undone. Um, so I've started listening to audiobooks, they've kind of become a lifesaver for me when it comes to reading. So at the moment I'm listening to Nos Mythology by Neil Gaiman on audiobook so I'm kind of hoping that continuing to listen to that will make me also want to pick other things up. My go-to headphone choice for audiobooks at the moment have been my new Studio headphones. Um, I was kindly sent a pair of these and they are just absolutely I mean, I don't particularly care about headphones, and I think I don't particularly, haven't particularly cared about headphones before because I haven't had a nice pair, and these are just great. They work really well with audiobooks, and they're just great. They're comfortable to wear as well, which is really important, and a really awesome feature with these headphones, right? They've got really nice caps, which you can see here, but you can actually swap them out. You can get marble ones as well, which are just so nice, and they switch out so easy. I will show you, I will show you how easily they switch out. So you got the headphone, you literally just twist it, off it pops, you get the other one, which is the marble, I really like the marble, I'm gonna have to start using the marble, and you just twist it back in until it clicks, and then there you have a fancy new set of headphones. So you could even have a marble one and a gold stripe one. But yeah, so these have been my go-to pair of headphones for listening to audiobooks, and I just think they're great. I just feel really cool when I'm walking down the street walking to work with them on, I'm like, yeah, I have my own set of fancy headphones. <laughs> I do actually have a discount code for you guys to use to get 15% off your very own pair of studio headphones if you fancy them. It is Readers Rambles 15, which I will flash up on the screen here, and I will also leave in the down bar in the description down below, along with Studio's website if you want to go check out the headphones. I definitely recommend them, they're just really nice, they're good quality, and they just, yeah, they, they're, they're great. I, it's like really late in the afternoon and I haven't done anything today. Oh my god, no, it's half past five, it's not in the afternoon, it's evening. So I haven't done anything today. I was planning on doing some drawing, but me and my mum went shopping, so <laughs> that kind of didn't pan out. So I might try and get an hour of drawing in and then maybe try and do a bit more more reading. My plan is to listen to the audiobook and read along as well because I'm not very far into Norse mythology, like I've literally only just started it, so my plan is to read and listen at the same time in the hopes that it will just get me back into reading because honestly my reading has just been shocking, shockingly bad. So here's hoping that doing a vlog will make me want to read because I feel like somebody's watching me and I feel like I have to do it and then also just I just want to read again because Honestly, the last series that, I don't know if I've spoken to you guys about this series actually, it's not a silly series, it's a trilogy, but the last series, and I read these books, and they got me out of a slump, but they also put me back into a slump, and it's the Falconer trilogy by, by Elizabeth May. Um, if you've watched my DNF video, you'll see that I say that I have read, tried to pick this up twice, and I couldn't get into it. Well, I picked it up for a third time, because Sam and Sarah Jane from Thoughts on Tomes well, I mean, they do kind of merge together, but Sam from Thoughts on Tones and Sarah Jane from The Book Live both read this and really liked it. it was, I think they read it in February. I read it in February, I know that. So I thought, okay, Sarah Jane said I'd really like it, so I was like, okay, all right, fine, I'll power through. Powered through, absolutely adored this one. Literally got the second one, picked it up, I think, the next day. Well, I picked the, both of them up because I knew I was going to like this. So I got the second and the third, binged read this in the space of about two days, I think. If you've read this one and you think this one's got a cliffhanger, wait until you read this one. Jesus, I just absolutely adored it and the cliffhanger, I, I finished it and immediately picked up the third book because that's how like, how much I was in it, I have to read this book kind of mood. And the funny thing was I was pre previously talking to Sarah Jane and Susan Voxer um, before I started the series saying that I haven't really cried at a book in a very long time. Yeah, these books made me sob, like, like actually sob, sob, like where you go, <laughs> kind of sobbing. It was just, oh, 
look your instinct out. Well, you can't! You're not allowed out! So yeah, I kind of haven't felt a love since, really. They put me in a slump. I haven't really read anything. Like, I've, I've tried to pick up City of Brass, and I know I'll like that, because it's the pages that I've read have been really good, but I just haven't felt the pull to pick it up. So I'm hoping that if I continue on with my audio... Wow, what's going on here? If I continue on with my audiobook kind of binge, it'll it'll help me because that's the goal. Okay, so it's a little while later and um, I'm talking really loud. It's because I've got these on, but I just can't be able to take them off. So I'm just going to continue to talk with them on. Um, I have been listening to slash reading uh, Norse Mythology by Leo, Ga Leo? Neil Gaiman. Um, my camera battery died, so I'm now filming on my phone. But I feel like I might continue to film on my phone because it's just easier and more convenient so yeah but the quality might switch up here and there but you know whatever you deal with it you have to deal with it um i love norse mythology i find it really interesting so i am finding this book interesting but audiobook wise i have had to speed it up a little bit because it's read by neil gaiman himself and i don't know if that was the best decision um i just find his sentences really drawn out and he's very I don't know, they all seem, he reads them the same, so like whenever there's a bit of dialogue, I mean I'm only like, I don't think I'm 50 pages in yet, where am I? I am, only 31 pages in, but he just, I feel like he reads it a little bit too slowly, and there's been a tiny bit of dialogue, and it's just, there's no difference in the dialogue, and it kind of throws me off a little bit, so book-wise I think I'm enjoying it, but I can't say much yet, because I haven't read a lot. But um, audiobook wise, I mean, he ain't no Stephen Fry. Let's put it that way. I actually listen to Harry Potter every night. So you can see myself in my mirror. Look, hi me. Um, I actually listen to Harry Potter every night to set myself to sleep. Through my iPad, I just play out loud. Um, put put a timer on, six, sixty minutes sleep timer, and it's just completely changed my sleep sleep schedule. Not that I have a sleep schedule, but you know, I used to really struggle going to sleep, so that's really good. Um, and I've actually started like tagging it because um i attempt every now and then to do a bit of writing and um the thing that i'm working on at the moment involves fenra and ragnarok and stuff like that so there are a lot of i mean like i said i made 31 pages in and i've already found things that i'm like oh i like the sound of that so yeah there are some interesting things so i've got a feeling i'm going to be tagging this a lot like for inspiration if i ever get round to continuing more story stuff um there's always a part of me that it's like sean you, you're not writing a book come on you know because one has no experience in those matters but then you could also argue that doing the thing makes you experienced in the thing so yeah i think i'm going to continue to listen to this for a little bit but i also think i might pick up some other books i can take these off because my ears are getting hot might continue listening to it for a little bit tonight um have my dinner a bit later and then I don't know what else I want to pick up I've been watching loads of other, other people's reading vlogs because I'm actually really enjoying doing this so um and a lot of them have been evolved around Restore Me and I have my copy of Restore Me but I read the Shatter Me trilogy like most other people ages and ages ago and I can't really remember what happens so part of me wants to reread them before I read Restore Me because I want to be able to enjoy it so I'm kind of like well then do I pick up Shatter Me and try and reread that um but then I also have uh, another book which is um the Waterstones Children's Book of the Month next month um which is the um, oh god I can't remember what it's, like, what it's called now My House Has Chicken Legs or something um but it's the Children's Book of the Month next month and it's based on Russian mythology which sounds really interesting and I read a couple a few pages on my break and I really enjoyed the pages that I read so I don't know what I'm gonna pick up I don't know whether I should pick up Shatter Me or whether I should pick up Chicken Legs it's not called Chicken Legs but I just know it's got chicken legs in the title so I don't I don't really know kind of depends how I feel I suppose so I made my decision I am going to read for a little while the House with the Chicken Legs by Sophie Anderson. Um, it just looks really good and it's blurred by Kira Milward Hargrave. And I adored The Girl with Ink and Stars, um, the children book. So I've got a feeling this is going to be kind of along the same, way, same wavelength like 
just magical and very lovely feeling so I'm gonna read that for a little bit until nine o'clock because then it's the finale of The Walking Dead and <sighs> no matter how much I have not liked this season at all I mean I, I've been extremely disappointed with season eight of The Walking Dead like super disappointed nothing's happened it's been boring and I literally only watch it from loyalty to the show which it's, it's waning. If it wasn't for the fact that Andrew Lincoln was a regular customer where I work, I could have given this up a while ago. He came in last week and I was just like, huh. I served him once um, and like I didn't even know that he was in the shop. So I was at the till, everybody else was at back or doing something else. I was at the till fiddling around with something. I can't remember exactly what I was doing because like, literally the moment is it, although it's ingrained in my brain, I forget every other detail other than like, but I remember looking up because a customer was there and, well no, I remember seeing somebody that I thought was Andrew Lincoln because he kind of looked like a bit of a hobo because that's kind of how Andrew Lincoln dresses when he's in town because obviously everybody, everybody recognises him and I remember being like, oh, that's not Andrew Lincoln, nah because he'd been in once before and I'd missed him and then, um, yeah, I looked up and he was there and I remember being like I didn't freak out, I was quite cool at the till and I remember he like kind of looked at me and he just, he had this knowing smile. He went, how are you? And smiled as if he knew that I knew who he was but I wasn't gonna be like, ah, oh, I'd really good because like, you want him to keep coming back so I don't wanna like freak out in front of him. I want him to feel comfortable coming to Waterstones because we all love him, like we're all big fans of The Walking Dead there but we're all pretty cool when he comes in. And I was like, oh, good thanks. The weather's a bit crap today, though. I remember being like, why did I just talk to Andrew Lincoln about the weather? So, yeah. And then I had to go stand out back for a little bit and calm myself down because I was so excited. Um, I didn't serve him this time, though, because the bloody lady was talking to me and I was trying to be like, we can't get your book in, goodbye. And then my manager swooped in and served him. So I was like, ah, you little git. Um, but yeah, I, I continue watching it for loyalty of Andrew Lincoln and I'm kind of hoping that the finale is going to have at least a little bit of something about it. I just I can't believe it is the finale already because I feel like nothing's happened. But I kind of get the impression that with The Walking Dead they put so much into mid-season finales and finales and they don't bother with the rest of the show. They're all about cliffhangers and shit like that because obviously the mid-season finale, that cliffhanger was ridiculous. Even though you knew it was going to happen, but it was like, oh my god. I don't know. I've been disappointed with it at this season, so we'll see how tonight goes. But yeah, I'm going to carry on reading a little bit of this. I'm only about 30 pages in, but I'm liking it so far. It's, it's basically, I think it's based, I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but... My colleague told me that it's based on Russian mythology, so it says Marinka dreams of a normal life where her house stays in one place long enough for her to make friends But her house has chicken legs and moves on without warning. I realise I went, but her uh, house Sorry um, For Marinka's grandmother is Baba Yaga who guides spirits between this world and the next Marinka longs to change her destiny and set out to break, break three from her grandmother's footsteps But her house has other ideas, so I think it's going to be a really good one So I'm going to carry on with that and then if I finish that at some point, which I'm hoping I will. I, I, I feel a need to read. I feel this this need. Then I'm hoping to restart this series. Oh, oh, oh. Tuesday the 17th of April. Um, I haven't done any reading yet today. I have been training so that's why I look like this but it, it is a vlog so we're keeping it natural. We're keeping it natural. Um, today's goal I think it's about half two three o'clock ish. Um, the rest of the day my goal is to focus on drawing and then get a little bit more reading done later in the afternoon. I did carry on reading The House with Chicken Legs last night um, and I'm really enjoying it so that's good um, and obviously I watched The Walking Dead and it was a big giant bag of disappointment so there's no surprise there really for a finale. I did not like it at all um, but yeah so 
do some more reading tonight. I'm going to do some drawing now because I want to get a good portion of the way through with my fox drawing and then um, reading later. But I think I might listen to Norse mythology whilst I'm drawing to try and get some some word counts in. Is that word counts? I suppose it's, no, it's pages kind of words in my ears type thing. <laughs> It's a little bit later. I look so rough. Oh my god. But there we go. Natural natural vlogging is fun. Um, it's a little while later and I have been drawing. I haven't done as much as I want to do. I'm such a procrastinator when it comes to drawing, honestly. Like, I love doing it and everything. But I get so frustrated with myself. And this is my second pastel piece. And I've never touched pastels before. Um, I have to like turn around so I can't flip my phone, but that's the drawing. It's of Mr. Foxy. You'll have seen the time lapse anyway, hopefully. I'll have included that, but I'm just stopping for a quick break, a quick coffee break. I, funny, th this is black coffee, right? I used to absolutely despise coffee. Tea, I'm, I'm still like pro tea all the way. Like tea is the, the best thing in the world and people that don't like tea are weird. But I didn't really like coffee. And then I tried black coffee. And now I really like it. I'm uncomfortable. So it's currently half past eight. Um, I've had a shower, so hence the frizzy hair and no makeup look. Um, but I read, well, read, I listened to some more of Norse mythology whilst I was dreaming, to, dreaming, drawing, drawing today, um, and I was really enjoying it. Finally got into the stories because he sort of starts it off by going into each of the gods and stuff like that in the history of Norse mythology. Um, and so it finally started getting into the stories and the first couple of stories included Loki and he was like a big part of them. And I just, I love Loki as a character, god type thing. I just, I think he's hilarious and Neil Gaiman writes him really well. He just seems really funny and crafty and sneaky in the two stories that I've read. Um, so yeah, I really like that. Um, I still definitely think that the book would have done better with somebody else narrating it but you know wh whatever he is getting better at his voice acting so that's good um so i am now going to sit down and read a little bit more of the house of the chicken legs um i really enjoyed what i read a little bit last night wow it's really hard how do people do this um i'm also going to put a face mask on i've got a choice of either this one or this one i don't know which one i'm gonna go for but i absolutely adore oh my god my arm <laughs> i absolutely adore the um sheet face masks they just my skin's feeling really dry and not nice so i'm gonna put a sheet face mask on eat my snacks i've got some popcorn and a cup of tea and i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna read and it's gonna be great hello everybody it is wednesday the 18th of <laughs> i had something on my camera that is not the date is Wednesday the 18th of March or April? March, April, April, we're in April. Um, I'm at work today, so I haven't done any reading yet. Um, I didn't actually do any reading yesterday. I ended up accidentally stumbling onto um, watching ghost hunting videos because I was watching Bailey J, um, or Bum I think it's Bumblebee Bay, Bailey. I'll leave a link to her vlog channel down below. She's really great. Um, she makes art videos, but then she also has a vlog. And I just love watching her vlog because like, there's like loads of behind the scenes artist stuff and I really enjoy that. See my, my backpack right there. Um, yeah, and she was basically um, playing with ghost hunting apps. So I thought, well, I'm not gonna do that myself, but I wanna watch more videos. So then I started watching ghost hunting videos and then for some reason I got onto like the top 10 ghost hunting videos ever. And then freaked myself out and then I started watching Walking Dead videos. So then I started watching like the top 10 Walking Dead episodes and like why the Walking Dead's gone downhill and the top 10 Walking Dead characters, top 10 worst Walking Dead characters. And it was fun times, but it did mean that I didn't end up reading anything. 
So I'm gonna try and do some reading on my break. I'm again gonna try and finish reading. Well, not finish, I mean, I'm only like that far into it, so I've barely even started. I'm gonna try carrying on with uh, The House with Chicken Legs. And yeah, I will update you when I get home. Hello, so I am just walking back from work. Oh, it feels like, it was one of those days where it feels like it went really quick, but it also feels like it didn't at the same time. Oh my God, there's so much traffic, it's so annoying. Um, <laughs> my feet hurt so much. If someone can see me doing this, I'm gonna look so weird. I'm not used to doing this. Um, I read some more of, bloody hell it's windy. I read some more of the chicken house today. It went really well. It was good, what I read. I'm really enjoying it actually. I swear to God, when I usually walk home, there is never anybody here. I suppose it's because it's sunny for once. We're walking home, chatting away to myself, and people see me and think I look like a complete weirdo. It's like, yes I do, but I'm doing it for a reason. I'm not just talking to myself for the fun of it. Um, but yeah, it's pulling me out of a reading club, so that's that's really good. Oh my god, more people. No, I'll just film in it. Say hi. Hi! <laughs> We're just taking the doggies for our walk. <coughs> hi, Buster. Over this bit yet? Oh yeah, you did. You've got covered in crap, haven't you? Oh yeah. Come on. <coughs> Hi guys. So it is currently Saturday. I didn't uh, do an update on Wednesday. No, Thursday and Friday. Um, I was working yesterday. Oh look at my bin. How good is that? Um, I was working yesterday, which is why there was no update, and Thursday I just completely forgot because look, I got my hair dyed. It's like a purpley ends, and I just, I love it. I love it so much. Um, I'm gonna get the top dyed darker because it's a little bit like a chocolatey brown and it's a bit lighter, and I want it to be a bit darker. So, update, I finished the house with the chicken legs. I finished it on Wednesday evening. I absolutely bloody loved it. I devoured it, it's such a good children's book. I definitely recommend it if you want something that's kind of based on um, Russian folklore, that kind of stuff. I just really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. It was poignant at times and I think it would be a really great classic. It'll end up being a classic. It kind of reminded me of The Girl of Incan Stars. Um, just, just made you think and it was just lovely and the characters were wonderful, especially the house. Like, the house was probably my favourite character. A house was my favourite character. That doesn't show you how good her writing is then, I don't know, because she made me feel empathy for a house. Hi guys, it's Sunday. Um, today, I don't really know what I'm doing. I think me and my dad are going to walk Peanut into town, a little, little dog, um, and potentially go to Waterstones, because last night I watched Dunkirk and another film on World War II, and it's just made me want to read books on World War II, so I want to get a book that hopefully like encompasses all of World War Two, and then um, also a book on Dunkirk because I found that really fascinating. So I'm going to go into work, um, ask for some recommendations, and then maybe start reading those. Last night I had my Audible credit updated, so I bought Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban because I need that to go to sleep. And yeah, it's another sunny day by the looks of it, so I need to whack on the sun cream and try not to burn and get rashes because that's what my skin does. So we are back from being in town. I got myself a book. I got a short World War One history. Um, just because I kind of want to get like a general overview of, not World War One, World War II, duh. Um, I just want to get like a general overview and, and stuff like that. And I just want to learn a bit more. Um, so I was told this would be a good one because it's not too intimidate, intimidating to start me out on. And then like I can kind of, the battles and stuff that I find quite interesting then delve deeper into those like especially Dunkirk um, probably Battle of Britain and stuff like that I want to learn a bit more about because I'd like to read a bit more non-fiction and kind of know a bit more about history so I find it really interesting so I think I'm probably it's Sunday so I'm probably going to do a little bit more drawing because I have tomorrow off as well um, I'm going to do a little bit more drawing and then I might actually pick this up um, but whilst I'm drawing I'm going to listen to some more Neil Gaiman, my headphones, and just kind of, because I was really enjoying 
listening to Norse mythology because like I said I really liked Loki's story he's just really interesting and like there's a reason my cat's named Loki so yeah I think I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because I don't expect I'll get much reading done today much else much more much else you can see my hands faded already after like one wash look okay <laughs> it's gonna be the problem I'm gonna like I'm so particular about my hair as well. I kind of feel like I might put a bit more purple in it next time I get some dye. I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I digress. So, yeah, I think I'm probably going to end the vlog here. Um, do a bit drawing, stuff like that. Um, uh, let me know. I realise I've probably spent the hot most of this vlog in my bedroom, and that's because I have spent most of this time in my bedroom. It's just the easiest time to vlog because, like, Obviously I'm not used to vlogging, so doing it out in public and in front of everybody else is a bit weird. But um, if you enjoyed this, let me know and I might do a little bit more because I just found it really easy and it made me want to read a bit more as well. I may continue doing these, I am not too sure. But I hope you've enjoyed this one and I suppose I will see you in my next video.